Hello everyone, welcome back to Scarlet Space. So in this video, I'm gonna show you the Starship HLS design. This is my latest project. I'm gonna show you how Starship HLS acts in flight. The first one is the overview of the Starship HLS in flight. This is after refueling. So basically, Starship HLS design is based on Starship basic design, but it have an additional engine for landing on the moon surface. So the ship will not using the main engine at the bottom of the engine skirt section instead of using the upper landing engine. And this is the hot staging, just like a normal Starship going to orbit. Every Starship has hot staging process while separation and now the super heavy is boosting back to the launch complex while the starship hatch ls is going to orbit basically all the starship harian it's capable of doing the hot staging the upper landing engine where in real life it has 24 engines but in sfas because it has two dimensional so i'm only creating the 12 engine i'm gonna skipping into seco and going back to super heavy based on spacex information super heavy will not doing any enter burn so the booster will take all the heat into the heat shield of the booster itself instead of doing enter burn just like falcon and did so basically it has just one engine light off process while only just on the landing burn on this video because i'm forget to setting the staging for the landing engine information from space egg the super heavy will doing landing burn on the chopstick just using three raptor engine but because i'm forget to doing that so i'm using all the engine and now lowering the super heavy using chopstick and attach the super heavy into the olm and bring back the chopstick on the ready position on the top Now get back to the HLS Starship. I'm about to refueling to the tanker. So the Starship HLS is need to do the injection burn to the tanker orbit. And getting closer. Now we are in the fuel with the tanker the docking process and the refueling process after it's done just going to lunar transit window and the circular burn to the lunar orbit And this is the landing legs. I heard information from the space egg. Uh, Starship has LS will deploy the landing leg while on lunar orbit. So after the landing legs is deployed, it locks on its place and it cannot retract it. But in SFS, I'm making just like a normal landing leg so it can deploy or retract it. So now the Starship has LS is about to doing the landing. Now the vehicle is about to switching the engine from the main bottom engine into the upper landing engine. And switching now. 
SpaceX doing this because the exhaust from the main engine will hit the rock and the dust at the bottom of the vehicle while landing so instead of damaging the engine because the rock and the debris below of the starship they're creating the upper landing engine to minimize the possibilities of the main engine being damaged because of the debris And this is the cargo bay, just, just simple like that. And after that, you can deploy the payload into moon surface. And in this section, I'm gonna explain the Starship structural design. So this is the comparison of a normal variant Starship with the Starship HLS variant. The structural design mostly is just not having a big difference, only at the upper engine of the Starship HLS used for landing. Basically, the nose cone of the Starship is used to crew compartment and the cargo space. And the next one is the engine section. Basically, the, the engine section is doesn't have any different of both variant. It has the same configuration and same place, just like a normal Starship, but it has additional landing legs for the HLS, so it can adapt to any condition of the lunar surface. So it has bigger foot on the HLS design, and it cannot retract it in real life. But in SLS, as usual, just like a normal landing leg, it can deploy it and retract it after deployment. So we move to the next section. And we move to the next section, which is the cargo bay. The standard Starship, it has cargo bay on the surface. Just like that, it's open to the other side of the vehicle while the Starship HLS design it just in real life cargo door is sliding into the side but we can apply that basic in SFA so I'm just shrinking the scale but upset them. The point is just making the payload is able to getting out from the vehicle. And as usual the Starship HLS has the has landing legs. In case the main landing leg is broken or destroyed, we're still able to using the backup landing legs. So that's it for video today's video. If you like what I'm doing, support my work by becoming the patron of Scarlet Space. If you like this vehicle, you can download it from the link in the description below. And don't forget to subscribe to Scarlet Space. See you on the next video and peace out. <laughs>